What's up legends, the heavy machine gun as well as the quasar cannon were released yesterday and a lot of hell divers have already put their hands on these and tested these weapons out for themselves. But today, for the sake of information for us hell divers, I decided to test out the quasar cannon damage against everything in this game. As well as some tips for some of them from all enemy types to even buildings such as turrets, anti-air emplacements mortars and even shrieker nests. So let's go ahead and go over the enemy types first then we'll check out the buildings. First up the quasar cannon will very easily one hit all of the small enemies without requiring any sort of focus targeting such as the scavengers, hunters, all of the little bots, namely the troopers, radars, commissaires, and so on. The quasar cannon will also very easily one hit a couple of slightly larger targets, these being the warriors, the brute commanders, the hive guards, the regular devastators, striders, and the very annoying rocket devastators. Now those are pretty much all of the enemies that will get one hit by the quasar cannon, regardless of where you aim. So let's talk about the enemy types that will require more than one shot. So we've got the nursing spewer. Now the nursing spewer does get one hit if you hit it anywhere in its body. However, it will oftentimes not get one hit if you shoot the ground near it as it would to an impact grenade due to its decreased radius of the explosion. However, as long as you hit it anywhere in its body, it's dead. The green bile spewer, however, can survive a quasar cannon shot. If you shoot the bile spewer directly on its face or its large body, it will one shot these units. However, if you attempt to shoot at its face and slightly miss it and end up hitting its neck or shoulder like area, it will survive a shot and it will require a follow up shot to finish it up. On the automaton side of things, I was very surprised to find that the berserker units, you know, the chainsaw wielding maniacs, can actually survive a quasar cannon shot even if you shoot it directly on its face. It's very clearly a horrible choice of a weapon to deal with these and I'll admit I was extremely surprised at how tough these guys actually are. On a similar note, we've got these shielded devastators which can actually eat up these shots with ease. If you shoot at its shield or even at its shoulder, it will survive these shots fairly easily. So you're better off killing them with something else. Now back to the terminid side of things, the Quasar Cannon does take two shots to kill a Stalker, which was quite a surprise to me as I thought it would have killed them with only one shot. The very tanky Charger becomes a very easy prey if you shoot it right on its face, being able to get rid of it with only one shot. However, if you don't land the shot on its face and hit its leg instead, you will break its leg armor open, but you will not kill it unless you land a couple of shots on its leg as it's exposed. The same applied to its body. If you shoot it from the side, it will break its armor open, but not kill it. And if you shoot the same charger on the other side, it will once again just open its armor and not kill it. So either focus on its face or shoot its leg armor off and finish it off with a primary. As far as the charger's butt goes, it's pretty terrible. It will take you several shots to its ass to explode it, and going up against the charger solo is actually way harder to hit its ass than anywhere else on its body, because by the time the weapon has charged up, the charger has already turned in your direction. So yeah, avoid shooting its ass. Still on the terminated side of things, we've got the big old bile titan, and these guys have several different health pools as well. If you shoot its face, you will take out the Bile Titan in two shots. However, most of the times this has taken me three shots to kill. I'm not entirely sure why, if I've just missed these shots or what. But I've also heard that when they're engaging, they're able to resist a little bit more damage. But don't quote me on that. To keep it simple, the Bile Titan will take two to three shots at most to the face to actually die which actually is one of the fastest ways in the game to get rid of them. I also tested shooting at one of its legs to see how many shots it would take, and in my very small sample size experiment, it took 7 shots to the leg to bring it down, so definitely not ideal. Also, for trying to shoot its underside, I would admit I had a really difficult time to pull it off as during my experiments I'd constantly get overwhelmed, and since you have to charge up your shots, to put yourself in a position where its underside is exposed and then charge up your shot, yeah, it just wasn't ideal. The furthest I got was shooting its belly over 5 times and it still remained intact. So in other words, 
dumping shots there will just be a waste of time as you could much more easily get rid of it by blowing its face open. Back to the automaton side of things, we've got the very scary Hulk. And I'm happy to say that it's a very powerful weapon against Hulks and its damage against Hulks, it's actually pretty straightforward. You kill Hulks with only one shot if you hit it dead on its red eye weak spot. If you do miss the shot on its weak spot, however, and hit it anywhere else in its body, do not worry because hulks die to only two shots regardless of where you shoot as long as it's not the red eye weak spot. And yes, that does apply to the heat sink as well. It will take two shots to the heat sink, also two shots to the body, two shots to the leg. Point is, if you don't hit its red eye, just hit the Hulk two times anywhere in its body and it's gonna go down. Now the slightly bigger unit on the automaton side of things is of course the tanks. If you shoot the tanks turret from its front, the top or from its sides, it will take you three full shots to get rid of a tank. If you do manage to hit its heat sink, however, it will bring it down to two shots. But once again, it's a very fast way to get rid of these big units. And last but not least, let's check out a couple of building type objectives and enemies and see how much damage we can do there. The Quasar Cannon can one-shot illegal broadcasts, it can also one-shot mortars, it can one-shot anti-air emplacements, and even stationary objective dropships as well. Quasar Cannon can also open container doors. It's also not much of a surprise that it can one-shot bug holes and get rid of factories as long as you hit its vent. Shooting the factory through its front door does not seem to get rid of it, by the way. You can also get rid of turrets laying on top of commander bunkers with only one shot, but the regular bigger turrets have the same health as the tank turrets and it will take three shots to kill or two if you hit its heat sink with one of its shots. A Quasar Cannon can also one-hit dropships if you shoot at one of its four engines, which is an amazing way at shutting down reinforcements. It also can one-hit spore spewers regardless of your range, and it will take two shots to each Shrieker nest, totaling six to clear out an entire nest. Still, it's probably the safest and fastest way to get rid of these without ever having to expose yourself. The cannon cannot get rid of rogue stations, but that was to be expected. I was just kind of curious. That's about it for all my findings. Hopefully this information will be of some great use to you Helldivers. So that's about it. I just wanted to relay this information. I'll catch you guys on the next one.